Hello, today I have um, uh, classified the bacteria accord, uh, clinically so that it's easier for us to start studying. So if you are, are watching the video obviously, so you what you can do is you can make notes uh, just like I am doing while the video is playing. So it's, it's really helpful and once you have this classification with you, you can, you can put it on your wall or you can put it on your study table, just paste it on your study table, it helps a lot. I did this for myself. Uh, so, starting from here, right, this is the clinical, uh, clinically important bacteria, that's the heading. Then you go on over here. Wall. Less cells. Those are the mycoplasmas. And then, what's the disease that's related to mycoplasmas? That's pneumonia. The next you have is the flexible walled cells so for these these are actually spiral sheets we have three spiral sheets treponema borrelia and leptospira treponema causes syphilis borrelia causes lyme disease And leptospira causes leptospirosis. Now, what you can do is Over here, rigid, thick, walled cells. These can be divided into two parts again like this the non free living and the free living. So the non-free living are the obligate intracellular parasites. While the free living are the extra cellular bacteria.
the non free living uh, par uh, bacteria can be divided they are two in number and they are Rickettsia first, Rickettsia and Chlamydia. Rickettsia causes rocky mountain. Spotted fever, typhus, and Q fever. While chlamydia causes urethritis, trachoma. and cetacosis now coming to the free living extracellular bacteria the gram positive gram negative and is it fast the acid fast are the mycobacterium And they cause tuberculosis and leprosy. In the gram negative, uh, the gram negative we'll discuss in another video. While gram positive, can be divided further into cocci the cocci are two they are the streptococcus and Staphylococcus S-T-A-P-H-Y-L-O-C-O-C-C-U-S uh, Staphylococcus Streptococcus causes Pneumonia Pharyngitis and cellulitis while staphylococcus causes abscess of skin and other organs Now the next of the gram positive, we have spore forming rods. These were the cocci, these are the rods. So the rods, these can be divided into anaerobic and aerobic. 
the anaerobic are clostridium is clostridium and it can it can cause tetanus gas gangrene and botulism while the aerobic is the, is bacillus and it can cause anthrax the next of the gram positive the last one is non spore forming rods these can be non filamentous or they can be filamentous the non filamentous are corine bacterium and listeria corine bacterium cause causes diphtheria while listeria causes meningitis out of the filamentous ones where actinomycetes cause actinomycosis and the other one is nocardia n o c a r d i a it causes nocardiosis So this is the division of the clinically important bacteria and the ones that are left and they are a lot in numbers the gram negative ones I'll do to cover them in another video.